Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements and today we've got this dresser that we're gonna turn into a wine cabinet. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started on this project. All right, when I bought this piece, I sight unseen, bought a couple of them together, didn't spend enough time to look in them over. Now this was gonna be a cool dresser to start with that I was gonna repaint, but once I got it home, I found out this thing had been dropped a few times, knocked off the edges of the drawers, so can't really fix that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull these four out. We're gonna get rid of this broken little decor piece here. Pull those out, we're gonna look at the subframe, see how we can uh, uh, modify it. We'll cut it, we'll get it all fixed up. We'll sand this piece down, and then we're gonna build a box that'll hold some, uh, some wine, and maybe even a little compartment here that you can put a cool, uh, cool little box in there or whatever you want. So, first thing, let's get the, all the drawers pulled out. We're gonna leave these top three in, or uh, we're gonna leave them, we're gonna pull them out move the hardware but we'll keep those intact these things well we'll figure out what we're gonna do with them maybe i'll keep the tracks We got all the drawers pulled out. Now what we're gonna start doing is disassembling this. So I'm gonna cut this so then I can yank it out of that slot there and pull this side out. Then what we'll do is we'll work on trying to figure out how to get this completely out. Looks like we'll just have to remove some screws and some staples. We'll pop that to the side. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with this board back here. Might be able to pull it out also after that. So that'll create a, a uh, cavity here and then we'll buy some plywood. We'll create a new box in there. And then, well, <laughs> it'll really start transforming here. So let's get to knocking this base piece out of here and go from there. We are ready to start sanding. Got it all broke out here. Now everything you're gonna see here is gonna be boxed in with plywood, give it a nice industrial look. Everything is gonna be black. So we're gonna scuff this up with our 80 grit sandpaper, our extra used sandpaper for the edges. We're gonna do the top three drawers, those bottom four. We're gonna pitch those, sand everything down, and prep it for black paint. All right, let's get you caught up since my time lapse didn't work on this. We bought a uh, sheet of plywood, a nice sheet of plywood, four by eight. Uh, it was about 45 bucks. So we cut it up, we created our base, our sides, our middle breaks, and then our, our plus signs here out of that. Didn't have much scrap left over, so it worked out perfect. We sanded it down, we scuffed it. Uh, the edges made sure everything lines up nice. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our ferrothane Jocko bean stain and we're gonna stain the inside of this piece. Everything that we built is gonna get stained. So the back, the sides, everything, and then we can start painting. So <laughs> I've got an old paintbrush to make this go a little bit faster and then I'll wipe the excess off. So let's get started.
All right, we're making some headway here. We can start painting our drawers here. So we're gonna use our bare priming paint. It's called, uh, the color is Blackout in Eggshell. It's got a brand new Wooster brush. We're gonna put everything, two coats on it. And then, well, <laughs> we'll be almost done. We'll do a little scuff, we'll wax it, and finalize this piece. So let's get started. Two coats on, we're gonna put a, a mini wax sealer on it. Got an old rag, do the whole piece, and then the next time you see this, this piece is gonna be completed. So let's get started. Here it is completed blackout plant paint, Jocko Bean stain. We took out the drawers, restructured the inside here, made nice wine cabinet, uh, cubbies for a bunch of wine. Got a nice big spot here for anything else you want to put there, glasses or even more liquor. <laughs> and three working drawers at the top. If you like this project and many others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, well, we'll keep doing some pretty cool projects. Remember to hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think of this transformation. And I'll do a quick run by of it.